Hello Freeze Lake. Today we're going to explore the skill of traveling. Now traveling is used in a lot of different sports and physical activities. It's allowing your body to move from one place to another, which is important to get open on the basketball court or to make that catch in football, or even just to move around on a volleyball court, just trying to get to open space or be able to make that hit. Even tennis, okay, as you're as you're hitting the ball from one side to the other side, you have to move to get there. There's plenty of different ways to move. Think about gymnastics. Those floor routines are really impressive. Lots of different movements using not only your feet, but also your hands. So we're gonna explore some different movements today uh, as animals. This is the alphabet animal warm up. Now for each card, you're gonna get two choices. You pick one and you'll practice moving like that animal at home. Let's start with the first card. I'm gonna give you 10 seconds to move like an ant or a butterfly. Go. All right, next card. You gotta move like a cow or a dinosaur. You have to be creative on some of these. Are the movements fast or slow? Are they heavy or light? Check this one out. All right, this one, you gotta move like an elephant or a fish. Three, two, one. Next card. G for goose or H for horse. Ready, go. Next one is iguana or jellyfish. Think about how your body moves in different ways to pretend to be that animal. Is it rigid or is it smooth and graceful? Here's the next card. The next one is a king cobra or a ladybug. Next one, mouse or narwhal. Ready, go. Hope you got some good space at home. You may have to move some things to the side so that you have room to move and to travel. Next one is O for octopus or P for panda. Go. This next one's a crazy one. Use your imagination. Q for coca, coca, however you say that, and R for rabbit. Ready, go. Even us adults are learning new things every day. I'll have to look that animal up when I get home. All right, next one. S for shark and T for turtle. Ready, go. Both in the water, but very different movements. Next one, U for unicorn and V for vulture. Next one, W for whale and X for X-ray fish. Go. Almost done with the alphabet animal warm up. The final ones, yak and zebra. Ready, go. And stop. Great job with that warm up. Hope you had fun moving around like different animals at home. There's lots of different ways to explore the skill of traveling. Now I want you to explore traveling by jumping. If you haven't done any animals like kangaroo or rabbit, I want you to practice jumping around by moving in your space. Ready, begin. 
We'll do some little jumps, maybe some big jumps. Good. That gets the heart rate up quickly when you when you jump. It takes a lot of force to get your body up and down. All right. Next, uh, we are going to move into trying to move using our hands and our feet. So you can do the bear crawl or the crab walk. Go ahead and practice one of those now. So bear crawl looks like this. Crab walk, you flip over just like this. And go backwards. Can you do the crab walk sideways? Sure. Takes a little more coordination, but you could do it. Other way. How about a forward crab walk? That's tricky. All right, next one is I want you to do a seal drag. This one's all upper body, your feet drag behind you. Okay, ready? Use your upper body strength to pull yourself along the ground. All right, very nice. Uh, we are gonna move into some locomotor movements. And these ones are ones I'm going to do a skills check at the end. You're gonna record videos on your locomotor movements. And I'm gonna just quickly check through them to see on how you did on each of those. And that way I can monitor your progress over the years to see how you're, how you're doing on those basic locomotor movements. All right, so the first one we're gonna start with is hopping. Now hopping is from one foot to the same foot. Okay, this is hopping. Okay, try hopping in the other foot now. Notice I'm getting my arms up a little bit to give myself some some lift off the ground. My knee bends slightly as I land. My other knee goes into the air to help me get a little more momentum. That is the skill of hopping. Next one is galloping. Now galloping, we often think of a horse or zebra or something with that uneven rhythm pattern, even a deer. Okay, but we're gonna gallop with the right foot forward. Now when we gallop, it's uneven rhythm, and we keep the same foot forward. So you do have to get some air as you do it. The back foot replaces the front foot. So you're gonna be reaching forward, and then gallop. Now try with the other foot. Okay, this is your left foot forward. We're galloping nice and smooth. So that is a gallop technique. And make sure that one is, should be should be graceful, even though it's uneven rhythm, that one foot should stay in front the whole time. Sliding. Now sliding is like a gallop, but it's sideways. It's like a sideways gallop. Now this one's used in, in different sports like basketball or anything with defense because you have to be able to shuffle your feet quickly when you're guarding. Okay, so let me show you a, a sliding technique. Okay, so we'll start on this side here. And you're also gonna need a little bit of space, especially when you record these, so I can see your technique. Okay, so you're gonna step to the side, and this one slides up, but you're gonna do it with some air. So step, slide, step, slide. Okay, other way. Nice and smooth. Okay, your big steps, you wanna get nice strides as you do the sideways gallop. Called the slide. 
All right, next one we're moving into is running. Now running is one we do often, a lot of different games we play, you know, whether it's kickball, running to the bases, or just running on a track, try to race somebody. But running is one that it's really important you have proper form because it'll help you to go further, be more efficient, be faster, and it'll be better on your body and your joints. So running, a couple techniques you gotta know is your, is your body should be slightly leaned forward when you're running. Okay, this helps get that momentum going forwards. Make sure that knee comes up in opposition. So if my right hand goes up, my left knee comes up. And then when you put that foot down, you switch. So you have the arms move in opposition to the leg. So this is the left hand, right knee. Do that. Notice my arms are moving forward and backward. Okay, they're not crossing the middle of your body, the midline. Okay, this is not good form. We wanna keep our, our hands reaching forward. Okay, coming all the way up to the side of your face and down to your hip. Okay, nice full range of motion. Remember, we wanna do that in opposition with our knees. Okay, and you do have to get some, some air as you were running, because walking would mean that one foot stays on the ground, whereas you start jogging and running, you actually leave the ground as you're moving. So let's, let's practice some running form. It's not sprinting form, it's running form. So we're just gonna get your knees up, start rubbing. Okay, nice forward lean. Arms moving in that position. Kinda looks like the pacer test. Beep. 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 All right, so that is running. Okay, really important skill and also make sure that your heel is the first thing that hits the ground. So we run our heel hits the ground and then we rock up to our toe. Heel hits the ground, rock up to your toe. You don't want to stay all on your toes because that will, that will hurt your foot and your body over time. It actually is not as efficient when we're running. Now for sprinting for real short distance that's different than we can stay up on the balls of our feet and our toes. But when we're running for longer distances, you should always run heel to toe. Just run in a circle in your space. Heel to toe, heel to toe. Nice and smooth, getting those arms swinging forward and backward. All right, moving on to number five. Number five is skipping. Now skipping takes a little bit of practice because you're combining some different skills in a one. It really is a step with a hop. You're combining those two things together and then you switch into the other side. So here's how it looks. Okay, so you're gonna do a step and then a hop on that same foot. Then put the other foot down, it's a step and a hop. Step, hop, step, hop. Okay, so when you do it faster, you're gonna get a little more air. You're gonna get your arms to help get some air as well. Okay, let's step, hop, step, hop, step, hop. Okay, really important, you get that knee up. Again, you're, you're getting some air, but the step, hop motion is important. Get those knees up, let's do it again. Skipping for joy, just so excited. A lot of fun celebrations coming up. And moving on to the final one, leaping. Now leaping is a more advanced skill. It's an extension to the run, but it's greater distance, which requires greater force. And you have to be able to absorb the landing by bending the knee. So leaping. Pretend there's a river, okay, right down in your, in your home, or living room, or outside, and you're going to leap over it, okay? So a run is not gonna be far enough. You have to do a big leap. See how I got, got my arms up, my legs split apart. Okay, so ready, and leap. Okay, and we'll go again, and leap. 
Okay, so now when you land, it's important that you bend your knee a little bit to absorb the force of the landing, and then you're continuing to run. So you run into a leap, leap, and then you're able to keep that momentum going. Leap. And so this is the most advanced skill for the locomotor movement patterns, but I want you to do each of the six locomotor movements. You're gonna record a little clip of you going from one side to the other side of your space. Make sure you have enough room to, to show me that you know how to do the skill. And if you don't, uh, that's okay. Just keep working at it. Make sure you record that so I can just do a, a skills check to see where you're at on your locomotor movement patterns. Well, good job today with the skill of traveling. Again, it's a real important skill. We use it every day as we have to, to walk to school, playing different sports and activities, running around, but also in more advanced sports, you're gonna have to be really proficient and know how to do these skills really well, like gymnastics and dance, and even, uh, even on the football field. So good job and stay active at home. There's plenty of more things you can do, whether it's dance, you can do some workouts, brain breaks, go noodle videos. There's lots of extra resources on Mr. Heinrich's virtual gym class. Take care.